Hey, what's happening, guys? Today I'm putting together uh, another little module for the STEM class at the high school. I know I said we were done, but I thought, eh, what the heck? One more won't hurt it, right? So, this is a super simple idea. We've got a 555 timer here. We've got a 4017 here. And we have this LED here that is coming off of pin 3, which is the output. Well, good thing I clicked on the wrong one there. We'd have been in a world of hurt. Yep. This is the output from the 555. So it's going to trigger this LED here to blink at this particular frequency, which will be determined right here. The 10K, a 47K, and a 47U. And then we're going to take that clock impulse, and we're going to feed it over here into the clock input of the CD4017. And then we're going to manipulate this reset over here with the switch so that we can um, divide the frequency by 2 or by 4. Here's a look at the board, you know, simple, double-sided, nothing special. You can see the uh, switch here in the middle, power inputs over here. There's our clock LED and our divided LED. And it should look something like this, except, of course, this will be a switch here. Yeah, nothing special there. Except for that, PCB way. The reason I say PCB way is special because they have two things going for them. Fast and good. So if you look here, standard build time for their boards is 24 hours. If you need it in less than that, you can pay a, a, a price, but you can get it even quicker. Look at that. If you pay before 5 p.m., we can ship out noon the next day. A regular 24 hours payment is made between 6 p.m. Payment made before 6 p.m. We can complete production the next day. And then service is available a couple days later. And depending on who you choose for your shipping times, you can get your product anywhere between two to four days. And it's the longest one. 20 to 44 here in the U.S. Let's check out the United Kingdom. Two to four days, 20 to 24. Let's look at Australia, 3 to 5, 20 to 44. So it's, it's about the same. Uh, let's go to Germany, 3 to 5, 20 to 44. Yeah, so it's about the same anywhere. So if you want fast, good boards made, I highly recommend you check out PCB Way. All right, we got the new Sum Sour 8586 soldering station. Coming up to temperature, we got the board mounted, ready to go. So we will start with the uh, resistors. First one is a 10K. I'm out of 10s. This is an 11K, so that is going to kind of change the timing on this. But since it's only... For demonstration purposes, it should be fine. This one is a 47K. So we'll do our first soldering with the new soldering station. Let's see how it goes. The handle is the same as the handle on my other station, so I imagine it's going to feel pretty much the same. We'll solder on the tip for thermal conductivity, and here we go. Seems to work great. Grab my clippers here and 
trim those excesses off. So yesterday, I hear this giant crash come from this room. I'm thinking there are so many possibilities. Was it the closet where I keep all the components and parts? What could it be? Well, it turned out it was this shelf right here. It had collapsed, and uh, unfortunately, as you're going to see here, left a mark on my oscilloscope screen. But you know what? That's totally my fault. Okay, I've got two more resistors to go down here. A 220 ohm. These are the current limiting resistors for the LEDs. This is a 330. And get them soldered in next. It's always better to solder in a horizontal position. I'm at kind of a almost probably like a 75 degree angle here, just to give you guys a good picture. But if you can. You know, solder in a horizontal. Just better. All right, let's put our capacitors in next. We've got our 10 nanofarad. And our other one is polarized, but since I'm not using the correct footprints, I need to find out which side of that goes to ground. So let's get the multimeter here. We'll be putting it in continuity mode. I mean, I can see the trace. If I'm not mistaken, it's this one right here. Yeah. You know, you know what Reagan said about the Russians in the 80s, right? Trust, but verify. So, trust, but we'll verify. All right, let's get those guys soldered in. Focus there for a second, huh? All right, let's get them trimmed off. We are getting down to the wire. Let me put that in the center. It'll work better. Yeah, it rotates a little bit better. All right. So for our clock, we'll use a green LED. And for our divided frequency, we'll use the red LED. Doesn't really matter.
and get them soldered in. I think we've only got a couple things left to do, right? We got our two ICs, a switch, and a header, and a prayer. Hmm. To find my blue tack. Hold this switch in here. That'll hold her in nicely. Then like a big old glob of blue tack, huh? Stuff works wonders, though. All right, I see time. So the first one is our CD four hundred one seven, and we'll put it in the chip leg straightener. Do a little squeezy squeezer, and hopefully. It'll drop right in there. There we go. A little blue tack to keep things in place. And I'll solder this in real quick. You don't have to watch. All right, we're finally down to the last uh, component of the day. 555 timer perfect hold it down again with some some blue tack flip her over and I'll get her soldered in Yes, I need to put a header on there, but that's no big deal. Looks pretty good. Okay, so the video that you've seen up to this point is being edited right now. So while that's going on, let's come over here and put you back in the stand here so you don't fall over and hurt yourself. I've got the power supply set for five volts. Oh, this is always the most nerve-wracking part for me. <laughs> will she work or will she not work? Am I the hero or the zero? Well, we're going to find out right now. Huh. My output frequency is working. Why is my own? Why is my device frequency working? Let's try this one.
<laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there, and it's going to take a little more investigation, so we're going to come back to that in another video. Boy, let me just check one thing. Take the voltage up a little bit. There's up to 7 volts now here. Really hasn't affected anything. Hmm. Alright guys, I'm going to have to come back. I'm sorry, I don't know what's wrong. But we will do some, uh, some troubleshooting. If you have any ideas, put them in the comments down below. Maybe between the two of us, we can figure it out. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. And a big thanks to PCB Way. Wouldn't be here without them. That's it. I'm out. Peace.